Hey guys, this is Joey810, WQSY810 for prismli.com. And uh, there was a comment on the last video about that I should have it connected to a dummy load versus a Comet antenna, or any antenna for that matter. So I decided to do that. So I have a Bird model 8201. Uh, 500 watt dummy load and have it connected to this meter so now we'll do the tests so um, real quick I'm not gonna go spend a lot of time on this so the, the wattage is actually pretty darn close versus real-world um, environment versus a dummy load um, a dummy load is just I guess is pure power coming out of this going right to a 500 watt a dummy load but that I, I didn't want to do that because of uh, it's not really I feel it's not really true real world environment I want to know what it's radiating out of the antenna not what's being dumped into a load however I'll do another one real quick video so as you probably watched before this is um one of my seven radios that I have. I have this is considered radio number two. I've already calibrated it. We're going to calibrate it again on film. So let's see. Let's go up a little bit. Sorry for my head again. So it's calibrated. We'll go to power, five watt scale, and it shows. Sorry for my head. Just a little bit past three watts on uh, the scale. Um, let me try a different radio. Swapping out the radio. I shut this radio off. We'll go to another radio. We'll put the antenna back on, of course. I'll go on another radio. This is radio number five. Uh, I think we previously tested this one in uh, the last video. That's uh. Go to GMRS channel one, calibrate it. And we'll go. So this one shows two and a half watts. So that's not quite sure if that's actually the same. I think it was. I think I got two and a half watts. And so radio 5 is 2.5 watts, radio 2 is 3, so obviously they're all different. So yeah, just, just about 2.5 watts, let's make sure that is calibrated correctly. Yes it is, as you can see, calibrated correctly. Go back to power. Now I'm using the, the diamond one, so 2.5. So let's go to a different radio. I think well, I also use radio number 7 as well. Shut this one off. Radio 7. Just so you know. Radio 7. If you zoomed in or not. Okay. So we'll put this on. And I'm putting it on the uh, this connector. So radio 7. GMOS 1. And we'll go to calibrate. And this shows just about 2.9 watts. So this puts out a little bit more than the than radio number five, which put out two and a half watts. So let's change that. Let's go to radio number one. Because I also used that in the last video. Oh, where's radio number one? Where's radio number one? That's why I labeled them. I got so many of them I want to know which one I'm using. Make sure I'm not duplicating. This is radio number one. Turn it on. GMS number one. Calibrate. Perfect. Power. This one actually puts out a lot more. 
This one puts out almost three and a half. It's like 3.25 watts. This is the first one I ever got. This is like two and a half years old, three years old. This one put, puts out the most wattage so far on the SX600 um, power meter. All right, so let's go to radio three. I'll also do them all, right? I think radio three puts out substantial amount of wattage too, I believe. Uh, GMS channel one. Calibrate. Right on par. Power. A little over three, so 3.1, 3.115 maybe. So that does just over three watts. It's kind of perfect to remember. Radio 3 does 3 watts. Okay. Let's, you know what? We're going so quick here. We've got two more. I'll have to do all of them. So we've got Radio 6 and Radio 4. So let's do Radio 4 right now. Turn it on. We go to GMRS. One, calibrate. I can tell you right now, this one puts out more power. Oh, three watts on the nose. And last but not least, the time is PM. Now you know what time it is. All right, so this is Radio 6. This I got Radio 6 and 7 um, last Thursday. So we'll go to GMRS 1. Calibrate. Right on, on the number. And this just does under 3. So looks like it's to be the uh, almost identical to the antenna versus... The dummy load, the bird dummy load that I have here, that I have here. This is model 8201, 50 ohms, handles 500 watts. It's a uh, beautiful. I have that for my um, HF rig. So now you know. There's no difference between a dummy load and a real life antenna. Maybe because my SWRs are so low, so it's almost exactly the same. Alrighty. Take care, guys, and uh, I hope this satisfies the people that require a dummy load. Take care, guys. Cheers.